Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to discover when you would want to use virtual copies in Lightroom Classic. I'll start with this image, which I've processed to look sort of dark and moody. But let's say I want to create another version of this image with a different look. I'll choose Photo, Create Virtual Copy, or we can use the shortcut Command or Control plus apostrophe. Lightroom Classic creates a secondary thumbnail that it stores in the catalog. But there's only one original on the hard drive, so we're not taking up additional space like we would be if we had to duplicate the original photo. I know that this is my virtual copy because it has this page curl icon. If we make changes to the virtual copy, for example, I'll tap 3 to add a star rating, or I could add keywords or captions or other metadata, the changes will only be applied to the virtual copy and not the original. Likewise, I can select and then make changes to the original without affecting the virtual copy. Next, let's tap the D key to move to the Develop module, and from the Preset panel, I'll apply a Landscape preset to change the look and feel of the image. We can see in the film strip that only the virtual copy was changed. We can create as many virtual copies as we need to. I'll select Photo, Create Virtual Copy again, and we see the new thumbnail in the film strip. I'll tap the R key to select the crop tool, and I'll just select the aspect ratio that I need for my feature image on my blog. I'll make a little adjustment, and then crop the photo. So now we have three visual representations of the same file. I'll tap the G key to move back to grid view. If I select the images and we click Export, then Lightroom Classic would export all three of these images as unique files. Or if we have multiple collections, we can select the crop version and drag it into the blog collection, or select and drag the virtual copy into another collection. Or we can have them all in the same collection like we do here. If we move to the Print module and I select these two images, we can print them either on their own or we can select a different template and then print them side by side. OK, let's return to the library by tapping G. If we no longer want a virtual copy in a collection, we can tap the Delete key to remove it. If I want to delete the virtual copy from my Lightroom catalog, then I'll right-click or Control-click on Mac and choose Go to Folder in Library. We can see the original and the two virtual copies, which are stacked with the original by default. Now, with the virtual copy selected, if I tap the Delete key, Lightroom Classic will ask if we want to remove the selected virtual copy. I'll go ahead and choose Remove from Lightroom, and Lightroom will remove or delete that selected virtual copy, leaving the other one, as well as the original, alone. If you delete the original, then Lightroom Classic would also delete any virtual copies. While virtual copies are always stored in the same folder as the original, depending on how the folder is sorted, the original file might not appear next to the virtual copy, and this can be true in a collection as well. Here, I'll drag the virtual copy to create a custom sort order. This will also unstack the virtual copy from the original. When working with virtual copies, if you need to locate the original file, you can change the Metadata Panel's preset to Location, and then click the arrow icon to the right of the copy name. This is also a great way to find the original file if you've put the virtual copy in a collection. We can use the copy name to name the file differently from the original. Now to quickly see all of the virtual copies in a folder or collection, we can select the Attributes filter and then click on the virtual copy icon. All right, let's select None to remove the filter. If you want to swap the settings that you've applied to a virtual copy with the original, you can select Photo, and then Set Copy as Original. Excellent. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.